first of all, as you probably know, Holochain doesn't have a built-in token, unlike most blockchains, which basically have to build in tokens because they're so inefficient to run that most end users can't realistically run it on the devices that they use on a daily basis, like phones, tablets, or laptops. So you have to pay a special class of users, like miners or stakers, for using a lot of their computing power, right? Holochain doesn't have that problem, so we don't have built-in currencies. So Holofuel doesn't have some special status in Holochain in terms of you know, being a, a king currency or something like that. You can build currencies on Holochain and Holofuel is an example of a currency built on Holochain. While Holochain doesn't have this problem of sort of this imbalanced load, um, Holo does. Holo is this hosting framework designed to let mainstream web users have full access to the kinds of P2P apps that are built in Holochain, but they are not a peer. They're not running a full peer. They're not serving themselves in the way Holochain peer, peers are. So um, it's actually designed to, to um, be able to take Holochain apps mainstream to web users, but because they're not carrying their share of the load, others have to take that up for them. And that's where Holofuel comes in to pay sort of a peer hosting network to be able to carry this additional load of, of peers that are not hosting themselves. And Holofuel is the microtransaction accounting-based currency for serving that purpose, for doing a high volume of daily tiny hosting transactions. So that's one of the pieces that we need to take Holochain mainstream. And so it's, it's special for us strategically, but it isn't special in terms of having any other kind of status versus other kinds of currencies people would make on Holochain.